Today we're talking about the battle between the FDA and a California man who has vowed to continue his popular do-it-yourself sperm donation operation. I'm Kimberly Wallace and with a bizarre bulletin on Insider's Health News. Trent C. Arsenal of Fremont, California has been quite the entrepreneur, providing women with a free option for sperm donation. Now, to be honest, it's based entirely on offering his own sperm to women looking to conceive. And despite the efforts of multiple federal health officials, it seems like he's going to keep on going. Arsenal has already fathered 14 children, according to his own accounts, with four more on the way. Hmm. Since he started the online operation in 2006, Arsenal has donated sperm to over 60 families looking for help. He even uses Facebook to help connect to new clients and share information, and describes his service as helping low-income families with infertility. Last year, the FDA ordered a cease and desist letter asking Trent to stop his service because he wasn't following government regulations, or any regulations for that matter. After all, who knows what sort of diseases he could possibly be transmitting. But for now, Arsenal will continue his practice while he's under the FDA scrutiny. He argues that since he makes individual agreements with these families, there shouldn't have to be the same set of standards. But what do you think? Is this a man that's helping families in need because of the broken system we all deal with? Or is he blatantly disregarding public health measures that were put in place to keep the public from spreading disease? And if he is allowed to continue, who's to say 100 copycats won't pop up mm, and really do some damage? A lot of tough questions without any easy answers, but it's up to the FDA to come up with something soon. That's it for this edition of Insider's Health News. I'm your host, Kimberly Wallison, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the docs.